My accomplishments at the school were the Holiday Heroes Food Drive campaign and the Toy Drive campaign as well, which means we're collecting food items and unopened toys to give to families across York Region who don't have anything during the holidays. I'm involved in the library leadership team, so every Monday and Wednesday we go there and help the librarian out with like um, activities with the kids or like even putting away books. One thing he's really proud of, which is the Holiday Heroes campaign, he, you know, grabbed the bull by the horn, sort of say, and took the lead on that completely, and had his friends become involved, and had kids in all grades be motivated to help and bring things in, and he really spread the word. All of Dominic's accomplishments at our school has such a positive, positive impact in the whole school community, not just with students, but also with our teachers. He's a face of our school. He's the voice of our school. I help with gatherings and school events and sometimes sporting events, um, festivals, and I would even help teachers at recess and sometimes after school. I help with kindergarten ambassadors. It's a little less stressful for the parents so they don't have to like, like walk their kids and then like be all stressed because they're probably going to be late to work or something. I would always help my friends with homework when they need it and um, like other projects even though I'm not involved and probably help some younger grades with their homework too. We nominated Alice for a variety of reasons. She comes to school every day with a big smile, ready and willing to take on a leadership role in so many different activities. Uh, she asks questions when she needs direction, but is very independent in taking on leadership roles and uh, engages her other peers in uh, taking on leadership roles too here at our school. I'm kind of modest, so I don't really see myself naturally as a leader, but um, some ways I guess I may set an example. I even am volunteering at a vet clinic right now, um, so I'm getting a bit of an experience. The goal I have for my career is to um, go to college or university and become a vet or like a vet assistant or a vet tech and to do something with animals. I nominated Marcella for celebrating student success uh, for the growth I've seen in her uh, over the last two years that she's been with me, but also the growth that she's had uh, throughout her schooling. Marcella's a very driven uh, young lady, um, and she's very internally motivated. Uh, she sees what her peers can do, and she wants to do everything that they can despite having ASD, um, and she's out there volunteering uh, in the community. She uh, is an active member in her school community through her involvement in clubs. Um, so it's just nice to see the, the growth in her over the last two years. I'm involved in the Student Ambassadors, I'm involved in the Yearbook Committee, as well as I was in the Grade 11 Leadership class. Uh, I love to be involved around the school and know what's going on. I love to be engaged and make sure that just the school has a good spirit and I can feel what's happening around the school. I like to be seen as a person who, who's able to build your trust and I can be seen as a person who's approachable and that's why I love being involved with the student ambassadors and I love taking the lead leadership role in the student ambassador club because I get to be involved with the grade, grade nines when they first enter this, into the school and help them transition into the school. I nominated Smith because Smith is a wonderful student leader, an incredible role model for his peers, um, just somebody who is soft-spoken, and yet, a leader, students want to work with him. Smith is able to balance his academics, his extracurriculars, and his community work, and really shine. I um, just moved here, so what really motivated me was like, I wanted to fit in, and thought taking a leadership role, and also helping out around the school would, I don't know, make me meet more people, and also I would fit in and integrate with the German Mills community. I love English, even if it's my second language. It's my favorite class in school, and when I grow up, I would like to be a writer or an editor. So um, I love working in English, I love reading books, and I feel like editing would be a great job for me. Rose's biggest accomplishment that has had the biggest impact on the school is the leadership that she shows. Uh, it's inspired her friends, and it's inspired the whole school uh, to participate and partake in, in whatever it is that she is helping to organize with the teachers and the community. Rose is, she's innovative, and you see that when you, when you assign a, a task uh, 
uh, when she's trying to solve a problem, she is that type of person that thinks outside the box. Well, I've done mentors for three years, which is sort of the program we have to um, engage with grade nine students when they come in and sort of create a more welcoming environment. Even outside of the program, um, with other clubs and things that I do, such as Octagon and um, Rugby and DECA, I think that sort of building relationships with students who you probably wouldn't meet in your classes um, helps them sort of foster their leadership. One of the things that that's, I find really remarkable about uh, Kristen is that she's doing things that are beyond uh, the school uh, and going out in the community and trying to help uh, make the community a better place as well. Uh, Kristen, she truly wants to make the world a better place and that's what to her is success, right? If she's able to go and help others. From grade 10 to now, I've been working on uh, a proposal to create a community garden, which has now been turned into a school garden, um, and an outdoor classroom on the south side of our field. I think the other thing that I really, really care about is uh, the mentor program that we have at our school. So it's basically where we take grade eight students and we help them transition into grade nine and then are part of that transition throughout all of grade nine. And I was one of the executives who was chosen in grade 11. We nominated Sanjna because of her outstanding leadership uh, throughout the entire school community. We nominated her because of her humanitarian ways, because of her actions as a change maker in our school community. She uh, is a thoughtful, she is a resilient, she's a change maker, she's an innovative thinker, but she also includes others and builds capacity in others to help along the journey to achieve the goals. The accomplishment I'm most proud of is becoming a King City Mentor because I want to pass down what the mentors did for me in my grade nine year to the grade, to the grade nines, for the future grade nines actually, to help them have a smooth transition into becoming a high school student because I know it is a hard and different transition from elementary to high school. I like to think of myself as confident because I can, I like to speak my mind when I deem is useful and not just like to stand in the crowd and keep quiet. I nominated Michaela for celebrating student success um, because she's a remarkable individual. She has had quite a few obstacles thrown at her in life and she's risen above them. She's always willing to help somebody. She's always willing to help me. She's always offering her like helping hand at lunchtime, after school. She's she's always makes herself available to others. She's one that people should look to for a role model. She models student behavior, life behavior in such a perfect way. Every year I've been a part of student council. Last year I was elected as vice president. This year I am president. Um, I'm also co-head student secretary, so I make sure um, everybody knows their schedules. I'm most proud of being president because you get to be a part of everything that goes on in this school. Like We organize food drives and we have a giving tree that collects warm clothes for those in need during the winter. Um, I nominated Sanaz because I think that she embodies everything that the board wants our students to be and everything that John's View wants our students to be. She goes above and beyond no matter what she's doing. So whether it's in the classroom, outside of the classroom, in her co-curricular activities, she's so dedicated and yet despite all of her success she's still so kind and so compassionate and willing to help others and look out for everyone else in the school and so I just think that she does everything that we would want our students to do. I'm an executive of the club, um, I'm a leader of the club um, along with four other friends uh, but beside that I'm leading my own band, I conduct the band, I arrange the band and some teachers call me a teacher for that band because I actually have to teach the students new things. I do all these activities because I really want people to feel welcome to the new country, um, the newcomers to Canada and um, make a diverse um, community. Um, make more connections between people and, and bridges between new cultures, between different cultures and backgrounds. Uh, we're a very diverse school and he represents that bridge as we said and we keep using that word because Ali doesn't just make friends in one culture, he makes friends in many cultures. Ali stands out the, from the other students with his initiative. I've never asked Ali to do any of these things. Ali has come to me 
and ask for assistance to that. And he's never fearful. He, he is fearless. So one of my accomplishments was um, being one of the students who helped start a girls club at Bill Crothers and it's the first girls club here. And the girls club, like our, basically we promote um, like a positive environment for female students to just belong to. And also last year we organized a school-wide event where we had a speaker come in and she had a disability, she was blind, and she talked about how she overcame this disability and how she like overcame the stigma that was, came along with this disability. Um, I nominated Maddie because she exemplifies our school model, and that is developing students the love of sport through learning and the love of learning through sport. Uh, her involvement in more than five sports teams within the school, um, her involvement in three to four clubs within the school, and her constant learning with regards uh, to being a leader um, all demonstrate traits that we aspire our students to have at our school. I would like to be seen as a student who has persevered, a person who likes to you know, take on new challenges, who's never afraid to try something new, and um, a person that includes other people in that process, people that, a person that opens up the borders um, you know, in our community. I definitely love building connections and networking with others. It's always been a big passion of mine and I'm a crazy workaholic in everything that I do, you know, from my schoolwork to uh, my extracurricular work and my personal life. Max is currently our student council vice president and he was elected by his peers to hold that job. So Max is the type of student that everybody wants to be friends with and I think that says a lot quiet leader, but yet kind and caring, and determined to ensure that everybody feels comfortable. In the past few years, uh, I also spent a great deal of my spare time uh, doing math and science tutoring to help other students succeed academically. I think I'm a well-rounded student because my academic achievement is recognized by the school board uh, as I'm a recipient of YDSB Mass uh, Excellent in Mass Award. We've got a lot of really hardworking students at Vaughan, and we have students who um, who help build our school culture. Um, but he really stood out as a leader. He displays all the characteristics that we want to see from our student leaders. He's kind. He's caring. He's thinking of others a lot. He spends a lot of his time tutoring students within our school and outside of our school. He's worked with a lot of our international students where there's been a language barrier or a cultural barrier uh, in order to help them feel more comfortable here at Vaughan. I'm most proud of my sports team's accomplishments because um, sports is my passion and when I play sports you can see that I'm a team player and I bring a positive attitude to the team and I love helping other students feel welcome and feel like they have a place to belong as well. I do consider myself a leader because I like to put um, others' thoughts and feelings before my own. So if I were to see someone sitting alone at lunch, for example, in the cafeteria, I'd be the one to go up to them and be like, hey, do you want to come sit with us? I nominated Jackie because she so, shows success in so many different ways in the school. She shows success in her academic performance, in her involvement in athletics, her involvement in the mentorship program, and just the ability to kind of create a positive environment for everyone in the school. Jackie does really, really well academically. Uh, she strives to achieve success in her classes, which is the most important. But then she goes above and beyond that in her involvement in the mentorship program. She takes um, a really big step in making sure that the younger kids feel safe and supported in the school and that they have someone to go to. I managed to get uh, the position of executive producer at Westmount Radio 1, our announcements. Um, I managed to start a few different clubs, one of them being the Writers Guild, and another one um, being the SHIELD Initiative. Uh, the SHIELD Initiative is uh, kind of like an organization that myself and two other 12th graders have started at Westmount. And what we create are mobility aids for children that may be in a hospital um, with an illness that need an IV pool. We have so far distributed 13 just over the break and uh, tons of kids at Sick Kids have already benefited from the Shields. So it's pretty exciting. I nominated Ariel because she is an outstanding, at the, outstanding student at the school who is involved in so many different things. She is a leader. She is a leader because she's a person who, when she sees something that needs to be done, she just steps up and does it. So she just sees a need and says, I'm going to fill it and doesn't wait for others. And so for that, she's truly a leader. 
I do consider myself a leader because I know that whenever I am in groups or I do group projects, I try to take the lead and make sure what needs to get done gets done and it gets done really well. I was part of the fundraising process for our uh, library book fair. I enjoyed doing this because it was because for me the library is a very important part of the school because it's a place to go and learn and enjoy reading. I believe that uh, Aveen's involvement as a class librarian and her, her work with Book Fair and um, with Red Maple Book Club, I think these are the biggest um, impacts on her classmates. In grade six, Aveen was a peace ambassador and she spearheaded um, do documentation um, of a Road to Inclusivity project, which was a garden just outside the kindergarten classes. Avine's a very humble person. Um, she often does what she does, which are wonderful things and contributions to the school, and she's not looking for the limelight at all. I've had successes in the projects that I've taken on, donating money to sick kids, um, growing the size of the DECA chapter, and um, the number of qualifiers that we have in competition, getting to see that transformation and the growth of those grade nines that I'm helping out with the mentorship program. But at the end of the day, I think that really what we have to strive for is not just this one point, but this continued journey where we can continue to grow and develop as leaders. He's smart and he knows it. He doesn't flaunt it. He, he approaches life in a way that's really respectful and responsible. And for that, I can only commend him. Marks are not the only thing that defines students. However, when you have a student who's doing a lot in terms of impacting the school community and still is able to retain uh, an average this semester, he's, uh, his average is somewhere in the high 90s, um, that is truly impressive as in balancing workload and finding meaning in terms of how he lives his life. I'm so passionate about mental health. I think I exemplify that and I show the people on my team or I show the people around the school that it's really important to me and I think it should be important to other people as well. I consider myself a leader because I work with a team and I always talk about team, team, team because you can't do anything by yourself. You are not going to be able to plan an entire semi-formal by yourself or an entire month-long mental health event by yourself. You need your team. She's been huge in terms of our mental health team and taking a lead in terms of uh, mental health, not just from a um, student perspective, but in terms of actually helping staff um, to, to help support the mental health in, in the school, from destigmatization of mental health to activities in the school that'll help just bring awareness to, to mental health. Sadia is one of those lovely individuals that just thinks beyond herself, and it's just about how can I make things better for everybody. When I'm coaching the younger grades and I'm helping them out and I teach them what to do and they're all happy about it and they have a smile on their face, I know I accomplished something and I gained success because the kids know what to do and they have a smile on their face. I define success as to work hard, learn from your mistakes, and if you do a mistake, don't give up because success is not just going to come to you. I think Michael's impact has made it um, possible for other students to see that you can be kind and considerate and still be cool. He's hard working in the classroom. I hear nothing but praise amongst his teachers. I hear nothing but praise amongst everyone that he interacts with. Um, from the parents on the basketball teams to the students on the junior teams. It's just he is uh, infectious with his positivity and his hard work and determination. I'm involved in a lot of different clubs and activities here such as student council, music council. I'm also a head mentor. I've always had a really big passion about music. I mean, it's what I listen to every morning. It's what relaxes me at night. It's what I love to compose myself. It just, I think it's a huge part of lives that people don't even realize it. And so being a part of music class, it helps me kind of understand music more and makes me appreciate it more. She participates in music council, repertoire for both junior and senior band um, as well. She's been a part of the junior jazz ensemble and the senior uh, jazz ensemble. She's a team player um, but knows when to lead and I think that's a really important um, attribute for, for a positive leader, someone who can allow others to take control but know when to step in as well. I try not to waver in the fact that I support everything. I'm on all the clubs, all that kind of stuff. And 
doing, contributing in the best way I can in every chance I get. I really want to put a lot of effort into making a difference to the world around me. I want to look into doing a lot of traveling and a lot of international volunteering with the less privileged countries. Matt brings positivity to everything and that positivity is infectious and it makes our kids, our staff, everybody want to do better. He's, in, he's involved in athletics. Um, he's in the Blue and White Athletic Council. He's our school mascot, Skippy. He uh, is MC for our lunchtime music cafe concerts. He is truly a, a global citizen. His outlook on the world is, is big, um, as well as his heart. Um, I was able to sort of start an initiative called Change for Change with three of my other really good friends on Peer Mentors. And basically what we did is like delivered a jar to each homeroom class and encouraged everybody to just drop off any spare change they had over the um, week before Christmas break. And then with that money, we were able to go to Toys R Us and buy a bunch of toys and donated them to Toy Mountain, which is um, a toy drive sponsored by Salvation Army. Um, and we raised almost $1,000 through just the donations from the jars and also help from the peer mentor team. Josie's, um, Josie's a, a well-rounded person in our school. I mean, she's, she's musically um, involved. She's part of our athletic council. She's been um, part of the peer mentor team for the last two years now. I mean, Josie's a leader. I, I think the reason, the main reason why and I, when I think about Josie is that she's a connector. I think that she finds ways to not just bring people together, but bring ideas together and, and make it happen and make it work. And I know that when Josie's involved in something, I know it's going to happen. I know that there's going to be an end result to it. I know that she's determined to make that end result happen. I want to be seen as someone who is there for others and there to help people when they need it, more like empathetic because I really want people to feel included in the community and I, in the school community and I really want other people to just be part of our discussions, our classroom talks, our clubs, things like that. So I want to be seen as somebody who's out there to help others and help the school community. He succeeds very well in the academic subjects at school, but as well he involves himself in the school. So we have, he's part of the leadership club, the eco club, Last year we had a music club, he's part of the intermediate band, and then he created his own club last year where he had a writing uh, initiative, a writing club where they had writing competition. I think that what makes him stand out from other students is his passion. It's very infectious and his positive outlook on life and on learning and his general positive attitude towards absolutely anything. I'm a part of STRUT, which is Students Towards Realizing a, a, a United Tomorrow. So what we do is we organize a yearly pink week. So that's dedicated towards raising awareness for breast cancer. And so over the summer, what I did just to understand it a bit more is I took a course online on the biology of cancer. I put together a research proposal and submitted it to Sanofi Biogenius Canada. And basically what I did is I got into contact with a professor from Ryerson and I'm moving forward to try and actually accomplish this research project to come to my own conclusions. When this award came up and I heard it's about leadership, I naturally thought of Antonia. She does so many things around the school and she involves different people and she has such a joy in life and in learning. And I thought she was just a natural role model for everybody around her.